All right, so uh, I like to describe relationships um, with using this illustration right here, which as we can see is uh, two cards leaning up against each other. So the beautiful thing about relationships and marriage as a whole is you're bringing two people together to to form a connection, right? And the way that any relationship works is whenever I meet somebody or whenever I met my wife, there were things about her that were different than me. And I knew that. And actually, I was attracted to that because it it does create a sense of wholeness, right? Like she can do things that I can't do. Uh, or she there's things that come natural to her that maybe aren't as natural to me. And everybody experiences this. And in marriage, what we see is this, this reliance, this leaningness that actually caught, uh, forms the relationship, right? What we see here is the impact of two people. Now, we also know that if I were to take this card out, it falls. So while this does create a, a, a solid structure, if we take one of the cards out, what we realize is that what's holding this together is a constant state of tension. Case in point, whenever I pulled the bottom out, it fell, right? The tension was released. The beautiful thing in relationships is that tension doesn't have to be a bad thing. And I think it gets a bad rap. Like we can't have tension. We're not, if we're not happy, if we're not feeling good, if, if we're not feeling confident, then it's a bad relationship or, or they're not the right person or whatever the case may be. But really relationship is being in tension with somebody and not, and not all tension is bad. Tension is, is me acknowledging that I'm, I need her. I want her. I care for her. And I, and she towards me, the same thing. And it's this beautiful compliment of being in tension in a really beautiful, powerful way because it creates a, a stronger we. It creates a stronger home, right? The tension is a good thing. And yet we live in a culture where it's not a good thing. We don't like tension. We don't want to be in tension. But tension comes with the relationship. And if that's okay, then it's we're not afraid of conflict. We're not necessarily wavered by outside sources. Like when other people are doing this, we still can rely on each other. It doesn't matter. We can still come back and rebuild. We can re readjust, ask the questions. Hey, how are you? What's going on? What's wanted? What's needed? How can I show up? Because this thing will get blown around, right? Because we're human and we have external factors and we have internal factors that affect our tensions with each other. So it's not a bad thing. In fact, the beautiful thing, especially in a triangle, I've been told by engineers and people that are far smarter than me that a, tension, that a triangle is the uh, strongest uh, shape in building anything. So whenever you can get a structure in a triangular um, shape, it helps. It's the most strongest shape to build something in. So it's to no surprise that whenever we, this illustration is even more helpful in that, if I can get this again, <laughs> This is actually a very strong connection point. And whenever we have two people complimenting, leaning on each other, we have strength that we didn't have when we were apart. It's a matter of, are we willing to acknowledge the tension that comes with that strength and that being a good thing? So what I want here you all to capture here is tension is in every relationship. Tension is not a bad thing. It's not a wrong thing. It's a matter of, am I willing to use the tension to better myself and care for the person that I've been called to build with and establish with and care for? Because whenever we see tension like that, we don't run from it. We don't see it as a threat. In fact, if anything, we may run towards it the same way that we're running towards our partner. And that's whenever a triangle is most strongest.